Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Enjoying some uh, McBaron plum cake. It was a gift from my friend Josh. So thank you, Josh. And I have that in a in an Orlick pipe, which is a favorite shop pipe of mine. Boy, this week has already been a blur. Can't believe it's Wednesday. Uh, but we got good things coming up for the uh, the second half of the week, and I'm going to do my advertisements early so that I'm sure that everybody hears them. So this Friday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, we've got uh, conversations with Pipe Smokers Live, and my guest is going to be Mel Harris, the Garbage Man Piper. So really looking forward to, to having Mel on the show and, and chatting with him. He's a, he's a wonderful guy, and I know we're going to have a lot of fun with him. So I hope you can join us Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and I'll be putting the, uh, the notification and the link out uh, later today, probably, uh, before the end of the day. The other thing, and I just, I just lit this, so I'm going to have to play with it a little. The other thing is we are having our, so October is a really busy month for me in, in YouTube land. Uh, but this Saturday, October 10th, I believe, we are going to have a uh, giveaway live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll put a notification out for that in the very near future. And we're going to do it the way we usually do. I'll probably try to get some Halloween-based trivia because... It's going to be a Halloween theme starting now. Um, and the prize is something really special. So I got uh, purchased from Larry Blackett, Buttons for Your Bitch, Britches, <laughs> Britches, the Dracula Tamper. Look at that. That is just the coolest thing. And, uh, man, is that heavy. Great tamper. I haven't used it, obviously, but it uh, fits well in the hand, and uh, it's just beautiful. Look at the detail on that. So, if you would like to have the count in your tamper collection, tune in on Saturday. Again, there will be a link posted soon. Uh, you also get a little uh, leather pipe stand that Larry includes. Uh, as a gift, and uh, somebody's going to be really enjoying this, I'm telling you. I wanted to do it a little early this month because I want to make sure I can get this out to you in time for Halloween. Although there's nothing wrong with using a Dracula tamper year-round. Um, it's just good fun. So we got that, and then on October 30th, uh, it's, a, it's a virtual pipe club, but we're going to turn that into a uh, ghost story session. And I'm getting a few guys. We're going to try to use Zoom. I have to work out the details still. And uh, we're going to hear some ghost stories. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, please try to join us. That's October 30th at 8 p.m., and you'll see a thing in the future. And then usually the, sometime the week before Halloween, I'll be putting out a, uh, one of my special Halloween videos that I do every year. And I've been working on that. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. It's a, a little different. Previous ones have always focused on a particular actor. So I did um, Karloff, Lugosi, and uh, Lon Chaney Jr. This one's going to be a little bit different, but it'll still be very much in the spirit of Halloween and movies. So I think you'll enjoy it. So all that keeps me pretty darn busy in October. But I'm, I, I love doing it, so it's good stuff. Yeah, I don't normally smoke uh, even trace amounts of a lot of key in. This uh, plum cake definitely has some, some lot of key in it, of course, but uh, it's a nice blend.
this was uh, years ago, uh, independently, Matches 860 and I both did a search for a holiday blend. And uh, I forget how many blends he had versus how many I had, but I, I went through three or four different blends, like one each week leading up to uh, Christmas, and, and he did the same. And we both settled on plum cake, but he settled on the McBaron plum cake, and I settled on the uh, Germain plum cake. Uh, of course, the joke's on me because it's very hard to get the Germain plum cake, but I do enjoy it. And I think I'll be revisiting that this year. I've got I've got a couple tins in the cellar, so maybe I'll open one of those this this Christmas and enjoy it and talk a bit about it. But this is nice. Yeah, you know, not a not a lot of key fan, of course, but. It's not overpowering. And that rum flavor is there. Yeah, it's nice stuff. So in terms of rambling this week, man, I got so much that I could ramble about that I don't even know where to start. Like I said, it's been a busy week. The world's still crazy. I'm trying to stay sane. My wife's trying to stay sane. She's a woman, so she has additional challenges. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're just we're just plugging along, really. Work, real work, is is good. Uh, Lots of meetings, lots of stuff to do, very busy, but we're being productive, and, and that's good. So even under these odd circumstances, we're continuing to move things forward, and that, that helps a lot. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm not really in the mood to rant and rave, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, been working on a project um, next to the last pipe I've got to finish before I... I can say that I'm, you know, ready to take new orders, and you know, it's always the ones you think are going to be easy that uh, that beat you up. So this is a. Make sure I got this right. Yeah, this is a Caminetto, and the idea was to do a a 9 mil filter conversion on it. So, to do that it needed uh, it needed the mortise to be reamed out and I did that and then it needed a, a new tenon made and I did that and then I needed to drill out the the stem to fit on the, the new tenon. So the tenon's in there, it's a Delrin tenon uh, fits very snugly and it would be hard for me to get it out right now uh, but I can get it out. And you can see the, the part of the tenon that's going into the stem, which has been drilled out, is corrugated. So that'll allow the epoxy to catch. And then I'll put some corrugations inside this and, and epoxy them together. And it'll be good. The problem is, the airway on this thing was terribly off-center. And I don't think you'll be able to see, but they, it just doesn't line up. So there's, oh, I don't know, about a half a millimeter uh, gap there where the the briars go in this way and the stems go in that way uh, and of course on this side the stems sticking out of the briars on it and it, it, it's not even lining up like flush there's this side is a bit lower than this side so normally and the way I've always done this and I've done it with quite a few caminettos is uh, I drill off the the airway I use the airway to center everything up I do it in a four jaw chuck and uh, that works and I don't know if you'll be able to see this but the airway in there is quite centered but you can see this outer area is not so this presents a problem and there's a couple different ways I can go about trying to to make this work 
I could shave some off of the tenon and kind of scoot it over a little bit and let the epoxy fill in the gap. I don't like to do that. It's it's a looser fit and I'm afraid that I'm just afraid that it, that it doesn't give you as good a, a grip and someday the owner's going to be taking the stem off and the tenon's going to stay in the in the briar and this is going to come off in his hand and that would be terrible. <coughs> the other option I've got is to fill that hole that I made with acrylic and I can do that. I have black acrylic and then go and drill it uh, centered on the, the stem rather than centered on the airway. Um, I think I can do that. And if that doesn't work, then we have to resort to shaping the, uh, the tenon a little bit to give us some wiggle room. And uh, we'll just make sure the epoxy fills in all the gaps. So it's always the ones you think are going to be easy that uh, wind up biting you. But the important thing is, in the next few days, I will have a 9mm conversion done on that pipe, and I'll be able to send it back to the owner, and he'll be a happy guy. So that's really, I believe, the sum total of information I'm going to share with you today. I, uh, I thank you for, for taking some time out to share a pipe with me. Wednesday really is one of the high points in my week because I get to do this and just get to vent a little bit and you know, talk about life in general. So I thank you for that opportunity. I hope your week has been very good so far. And I hope the remainder of the week ahead is, is good to you as well. I hope to see you on Friday. And if I don't see you on Friday night, I hope to see you on Saturday afternoon uh, for a chance to win that tamper. Friday night, talk to Mel, the garbage man Piper. Saturday, win a tamper. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification button, and you'll get the notifications for those two live stream events. If you are subscribed, it should it should come up, and you you know the drill if you are subscribed. All right, folks. Rather than waste any more of your Wednesday evening, I'm gonna take off and uh, finish up my work day and uh, get this uploaded. So, y'all take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye now.